are the best and highest rated players that are missing in FIFA 21's Ultimate Team? I'm your boy Viva La FIFA, awesome that you're watching the video because I will tell you everything about it. Are you looking for the best, most reliable and cheapest place to get your FUT21 coins? Go to Away.com and use the code VIVA for an extra 5% off your order and start building your own dream team. And in this episode I selected 25 players that are missing from the game but they actually should have got a FIFA 21 Ultimate Team team card so players that could be very interested for your squad builders of the future so 25 players and let me know what player are you missing the most drop it in the comment section down below give a thumbs up if you love the video subscribe to the channel for more and put on the notification bell to never miss a single upload and join our amazing team Viva La FIFA we are starting off with a new signing of Chelsea who is already loaned out to FC Porto so actually two cards of Malongsar should be in FUD 21 one. one with FC Porto logo, his club at the moment, and one from Chelsea, the team he joined in the summer. And it is a little bit strange that Malongsar is missing because he was not a deadline day move. They signed him up two or three weeks before the window closed down. Other free agents got a card and Malongsar was already in FIFA 20. So I think this is a mistake by EA. They just missed and forgot about the player. But Malongsar in the career mode has good potential to go up to 8. 85, 86 in the career mode, he has potential, but in Ultimate Team, he got a downgrade. Why? He was great for OG Sinise. So as I told you, big mistake by EA. We have the big talents coming through the ranks. The likes of Karamoko, Idan Belek, Savi Simons and also Harvey Elliott are all in this video. They're now 17 years old and that is the moment that an Ultimate Team card is not far away. Same can be said about Dembele himself. Karamoko is 17, he is with the squad of Celtic, sometimes he plays also with the youth academy teams logically of course he is only 17 his physicality etc needs to develop but how cool would it be just for a bronze team to make him in the game i think a lot of you guys will pay a lot of coins for a bronze player just because he is karamoke give a thumbs up if you would buy him chupa moting is one of the most curious players i've ever seen in my career as a youtuber Nowhere he does a good job, but everywhere he is signed up with a top team. Relegated with Stoke City without scoring a goal in the Premier League. Joined Paris Saint-Germain. Yes, he scored an important goal in the semis or quarterfinals of the Champions League. But for the rest, Chupo thing was there for the biggest miss of the century in the search of Paris Saint-Germain. But he still made the move to Bayern Munich after the transfer deadline day for EA. Making the cards that is, that deadline day, he joined Bayern Munich with a shooting upgrade. Yes, guys. There are so many wonders in this world. Former Atletico goalkeeper Adan is now joining Sporting Club de Portugal. Sporting Club de Portugal lost the Viviano. He went to a team in the Turkish league. I'm not quite sure, by the way, if Viviano is in the game. Yes or no? Let me know it in the comment section down below. And Adani is the first team goalkeeper of Sporting Club de Portugal. But if you're looking for him in Ultimate Team, there is nowhere you can find him. The last time Hatemann Arfa had a FUT card, it was FUT19. Back then, he was a starter Ren player. In FIFA FIFA 16, he had an amazing OJ Sinise team of the season card, 5-star skill moves, 5-star weak foot. Last season, he played with Real Sociedad or Real Follow the Lead. I'm mistaken, I think. I think it was Real Follow the Lead. He played with them after the winter, but EA didn't give him a card in FA 20, so it's two years ago. And now he once again signed a deal on a free agent ship with Girondé de Bordeaux, this time back to the Ligue 1, but still no foot card. And for the 5-star skiller fans, this is a big miss. Premier League fans, smash a thumbs up if you're missing Bronislav Ivanovic and in all honesty for an older player 62 speed it's not quite bad because a lot of players got hit by downgrades in the speed area but Bronislav Ivanovic is still there with a decent looking card he played many years in FIFA for Zenit St. Petersburg the last time he had a FUT card it was FUT 18 remember also with that World Cup a game and card he got it in that moment as well so Bronislav Ivanovic for the very first time in three years could be back in the game but EA has to add him ASAP. Give a thumbs up if you're going to get Xavi Simons if he's available in a FUT card. In the career mode the potential of him is 86, 87. Incredible. Xavi Simons in real life FUT game would be 65 rated. I use all the stats from SoFIFA. So the career mode stats the players have I promoted that from career mode 
to Ultimate Team. So Xavi Simons is a decent looking player, nothing really special of course, coming through the ranks of Barcelona last year, making the move to Paris Saint-Germain. He's a very interested player for the forthcoming years. I think in FUT 21 it might be happening, but at least FUT 22, Xavi Simons and Karamuki has to be there. The only player in this video who still didn't find himself a new club is Mario Mandzukic, but if I am watching this video a few weeks after uploading, I think Mandzukic could have found himself a new club on a free deal and with that new club he could be added into the game. Trust me, before the winter will arrive, this man has himself a big team in Europe who's looking for a target man, for a striker who can make trouble in the penalty box. So Mandzukic will be added to the game, but at the moment, Manuel Fernandez is already 34 years old. Last year he was great for Lokomotiv Moscow, but he never got an inform card because he was not in the game. With Lokomotiv Moscow, he was there in FIFA 19, but in FIFA 21, no Nobody could find Manuel Fernandez. Although he got an amazing season, they let him go on a free deal, and now he's playing for, I believe it is, Kayseri Spor in the Turkish Super League. We are staying with the Portuguese players, and this man is just a living legend, Ricardo Koresma. He's now playing for Vitoria Guimaraes. Last season, he was also playing in the Turkish Super League, and he made switch back to his home country. The man became famous for the outside of his right foot, crosses, shooting, and passing. He is super creative is a very cool player but he was always in trouble for teammates and managers but that made him so cool. The only player he listened to was Cristiano Ronaldo. Charisma, a fabulous player, a cool player, he just has to be in the game. Once again, a 5 star skiller just like Benalfa. Lucas Biglia got hit with a big downgrade from 82 to 77, a minus 5. He also went from the Serie A to the Turkish Super League with a brand new team that reached promotion from the 2nd division to the 1st division and for all these reasons, he never got a FUT 21 card. Nobody will actually miss Biglia with his downgrade, but hell, who knows the fans of that new Turkish club want to play with him. Who is more famous, Mario Götze or his wife? I think in the last one, if you have any time left after watching this video, just look it up on YouTube, guys, and trust me, you will be quite happy with my information about that. Mario Götze got released by Borussia Dortmund on a free deal, and he signed with PSV Eindhoven, on a two or three year contract. He had a virus in him, that is why he was not fit, he was becoming too fat, but he could nothing do to stop that. So although I have respect for Mario Götze as a player, I must say I judged him the wrong way back in the day. I thought he was not professional, but he could not do anything about it. So I hope Mario Götze can revive himself, because remember he's still only 28 years old. Feza is leaving his team, CL Benfica behind him and he signed with Al Ali. Somehow this is another deal that somehow with EA didn't pause their system because FaZa was not a last minute move, it was already somewhere mid-summer, so somewhere they just missed FaZa and for the FaZa fans, well, they're quite sad. One of Andura alongside Jase Kalyan made the switch from a top team to a mid-table team, they both joined Fiorentina. I believe some people told me on Instagram, Twitter and also on YouTube that Kalyan was already in the game for Fiorentina, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but Bonaventura is still only there as a AC Milan player or maybe not at all so that means he's missing the good logo with Fiorentina and well I think the club deserves that because they're paying his salary. Giannini signed a contract with Trabzon Spore and somehow a lot of players that are going to the Turkish Super League are disappearing from the radar. Robinho plays three years in the Turkish Super League but nowhere there was a foot card to be found with Robinho and same thing seems to be happening with the players I just mentioned so I hope EA can fix that as soon as possible. Liverpool fans smash a thumbs up if you want to see Harvey Elliott in Ultimate Team. And in all honesty, if he can pick up one inform card that boosts his stat to 76 or maybe an extra inform card to 81-82, Harvey Elliott would instantly be a player we could play with. And yes, I know his playing time will be almost down to zero this season, but you never know what he can do if there are injuries, smaller games to play in the Premier League, Harvey Elliott might get his chance. The Liverpool fans would be quite happy to get him in their silver team. Once upon a time, Joe Hall was the first team goalkeeper of Manchester City, the number one without any questions being asked of the English national team, and now he is the third goalkeeper of Tottenham Hotspur. He was the backup, backup for the backup of Burnley. Yes, guys, Burnley, not Barcelona or Real Madrid, but Burnley with all the respect. He left on a free deal, and Tottenham, they just picked him up as the third goalkeeper in the squad. But still, we have to give Joe Hart a shout-out in this video. One of the quickest players from Japan, 
Japan in the game is Nagatomo and somehow he is not in the game. He played for Galatasaray and as I told you somehow Turkish players who go to the Turkish Super League are leaving them or somehow disappearing in the Bermuda trial because I don't know where they are. Nagatomo is just a player of Olympique Marseille. He didn't disappear from the earth. So he's just there in France but somehow EA didn't find him. They lose him but Nagatomo is a player especially the Japan fans just deserve to get him into the game. Maximilian Philly played with Borussia Dortmund for quite some time. He was loaned out to the locomotive Moscow if I'm not mistaken and now he is back in the game with Wolfsburg. He was not in FUT 20. He was in FUT 19. Maybe you remember him. He got a road to the Champions League final card. And why do I remember that? I got him in that pack. I kept him at the club because Borussia Dortmund reaches further and further. I kept him but then they got knocked out I believe in the quarterfinals so I sold him immediately. After that I lost him but he's back on the European pitches. Elche got themselves a very overpowered player from FIFA 20 but I must say Rigoni in FIFA 21 is not as overpowered as he was. Do you remember him playing for Zenit St. Petersburg? If you do give a thumbs up because Rigoni was a pretty big talent. Going to Zenit St. Petersburg everybody expected great things from the youngster. Now he is back at Elche and when I saw his name I thought oh yeah I remember Rigoni. He was a very interesting player. It was I believe FIFA 18 or 19 that he picked up several special inform cards and now he's back in the Spanish La Liga so give the guy a shot at least to get special cards. Ruiz has got back to the La Liga where he played before. He was once again with Beşiktaş, a Turkish Super League team. And somehow once again EA lost the player that's leaving the Turkish Super League. Ruiz is not a low rated player. He was 79 rated in FIFA 21. So you can't say he was an unknown player. He is, he is not usable because he is way 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 too slow. But still the guy deserves respect to be in the game. He's in there for over 10 years. Manchester United fans give a thumbs up if you want to see your strong Striker El Matador, it is San Cavani joining Ultimate Team as soon as possible. Luckily, Alex Tejas even got a one to watch card, so Tejas is already in there. But it is San Cavani is still one of the highest rated strikers in the Premier League. He's going down from 88 to 84, but well, he is still there. He's 33, he is still a goal machine. He proven that in the past, and he can do that this year once again. He is there in the career mode, but in Ultimate Team, nowhere to be found. And you have have to be kidding me EA how easy it is to add a player if you don't add the players I just mentioned before you can always say okay nobody will actually miss them maybe some of them but it is on Cavani is a player you can't leave out of the game so turn on your PC your console or whatever you're using to edit players into the game EA do it right now yeah you I'm talking to you EA employee do it right now and edit it is on Cavani into ultimate team and better to make up with us me and my fans give us all a free version of a one to watch Edison Cavani. Just do it right now. Well guys, if you love that, give a thumbs up, subscribe for more and put on the notification bell. I thank you all for watching, wishing you all a very nice day and as you know for me, keep it cool, keep it real and ciao for now.